And today we're going to take a look at a 2007 Dynamax Grand Sport M2 Columbia Toy Hauler. This is a 399 floor plan. This is a great pre-loved unit, recent trade-in to Bella Vista. Now the Dynamax is built on a Freightliner chassis as you'll notice here. It's a true Freightliner truck chassis so it gives you a very big, very robust chassis which is great for driving down the road. But having said that it's a large chassis, it's actually very quiet for driving on the inside. As we take a look around, you'll notice it's very beautifully appointed, full body paint, nice large compartments all the way along. And this Dynamax is actually in the toy hauler version. Now up top, you'll notice an extra large boxed awning. We have nice large tires. They're actually 275.80s. So lots of rubber, lots of support. And around the back, which we'll show you later, is our toy hauler. And this is a hydraulic lift, which is going to give us 3,300 pounds of lift. Now we do have on the 399 a slide out as well, but let's take a closer look inside at some of the great amenities on this Dynamax. Really well appointed overall. We have molded steps here to gain into the main uh, cabin compartment. We do have keyless entry for accessing the unit. And as we come in, you're going to see the appointments are really nicely finished. We have a nice leather hide-a-bed here. We have a nice large dinette. And of course our table is solid wood. You can just see the beautiful accents in the wood. We have a great galley area here with Corian countertops, electric range, and convection oven above lots of drawer space and what I love in this Dynamax is you'll notice we don't have a traditional handle. You pop out the button, opens up the drawer, when you're done simply close it, pop it back in place and it locks it in place. No more worrying about your cutlery popping open. Recess sinks which is really nice. We have a nice large fridge with pantry and very good amenities here with storage and our sink and then of course our head and shower nice skylight above and then to really maximize space we've got a great sliding screen here that really tucks itself right out of the way a window in the bathroom just absolutely beautiful now I mentioned this is a toy hauler, so as we step into the back, you'll notice a nice large garage area with fold down sofa right here. And then we have E-Track in the ground, or in the ground, sorry, on the floor. So stowing the bikes, the ATVs is really easy with this track system. We have a second exit, which just keeps the convenience really nice. Um, and there is an insert for the door area here. Now overhead we have cabinetry on both sides of the toy hauler here you'll notice. So there's lots of storage and then in the back corner we actually have hanging pockets here on both sides for lots of miscellaneous items that you're going to carry um, helmets, other gear, etc. And then of course for every guy we've got to have our TV in our garage. That just finishes it off nicely. So if you want to catch the game one day, you happen to be back here working on your bike or your ATVs, you can still really enjoy the living part of RVing. When we go back up front, you're going to notice ceramic tiles here. Then we have really nice sculptured carpet. Our other main TV is up here up front and what you'll notice, I'll pan over here and I'll pan in nice and close. I hope you can see that really nicely. 
Bose Home Theater on board. If you're going to travel, you might as well travel with the best. Bose Home Theater, and then here's our main command center for the Bose. So you're going to be able to watch those movies and really enjoy the sound. Now in our cockpit, we have really luxurious, very supportive seats, great leather, adjustable armrests, and then of course the driver, being that we're on a Freightliner chassis, the driver is actually going to get an air ride seat. So you're going to travel down the road in comfort. And I'll tell you, this is a really nice coach. was on a test drive yesterday when the coach uh, came in and just absolutely beautiful to drive down the road, nice and solid. Uh, you know, you don't have a ton of exterior noise coming in, but when you step on that throttle, the C7 Caterpillar uh, really just kicks into play, has really good torque rating. You're just going to love driving around in this coach. You're also going to feel a bit like a trucker going down, which is kind of a nice feeling for us guys. You're up high, you can see everything, you've got stability, but you've got your RV with you. And all the appointments in here from the nice solid wood, the, Bo the Bose Home Theater, this has hydronic heating on board. You have all the amenities of a luxury diesel pusher, but in the form of a luxury toy hauler by Dynamax. So if you're in the market for a toy hauler, looking to have all the luxury on board that you should have in an RV, check us out and check out this 2007 Dynamax. It's a Columbia Series M2 toy hauler, 399 floor plan. Absolutely a great coach, built really well, lots of value on board, and just great finishings across the board to go out and play and have lots of fun, but have all the traditional high-end lifestyle with you. So here we are for the last portion of our video on the 2007 Dynamax Columbia Toy Hauler. I wanted to give you an example of how this rear lift works. In most toy haulers, they've been designed to be fold-down ramps where you have to ride up the coach and into the garage. With the Columbia Toy Hauler, we have this great little hand controller here that is going to allow us to actually drop the gate because we are a fully hydraulic gate here. And what's nice with this is you'll notice we'll be able to actually bring it down and bring it to a nice level piece. This is where if you already had your gear loaded, you'd be able to bring your motorcycle, your ATV out, might even be a golf cart, put it onto the ramp, and then with a simple push of the button, actually bring the ramp right down. And you can see this is very, very easy. What's also nice with this type of ramp is that it's going to be fully hydraulic, supports 3,300 pounds, gives you a lot more load capacity than some of the traditional ramps. You'll also be able to take the hand control, bring it up over to the ramp and ride up with the gear itself. Now, stowing it in reverse is very easy. Simple push of the button, and you can see how quickly that ramp really comes back up into place. And now it puts itself even again. Simple push. We're able to bring the gate right back up. We'll bring it into its stored position. Then you can go in and secure all your gear. Keeps everything nice, neat, and easy to access. Thanks for viewing the video. If you like the video, please click the like button and feel free to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they come available.